So today I'm going to try to build a steady cam so you won't be able to see things like this happening anymore. It'd be kind of nice. So I found some things around the internet and uh, this here seemed to be the best working design that I could find. I'm using some copper pipe about 10 inches, 10 inches, 8 inches, whatever works right here. I got a couple of end caps. Got one on this side. This one fits the camera. This one over here, it's going to go on the bottom. What's going to happen here is I have a whole bunch of weight, quite a bit of weight. Um, the camera itself, I'll weigh it for you. It weighs 6.1 ounces. And for that much camera, I guess, I'm going to use something like two pounds, eight ounces to counterbalance it. Counterbalance it. This here is mostly going to reduce motion like this when walking. It will also reduce some of this. But we're going to see how good it will work once I get it all put together. So since I'm cheap, I uh, might want to use this pipe again someday and might want to make some modifications instead of soldering it together. I just used some uh, clear tape. Now it's all together. So now we'll take it for a test ride and see how steady it makes the video. So here we are. The top one has the stabilizer. You can see a lot less individual footstep movement. Especially up the stairs, it's a lot smoother. Here we are from a distance with five times zoom. The top has the stabilizer. It's much smoother. Here we have the pan, five times zoom the distance. The bottom is the one with the stabilizer. It's a little less jerky. Not a lot of difference because you can hold it pretty stable by itself from a distance. And that's about it. I'm going to work with this for a while, see what kind of improvements I can make and see if it can get any better than it is.